Helldivers bans players asking for LGBTQ. What? Is this true? Like... Something rather fascinating is going on in the Helldivers 2 community. By now, I'm sure you are aware that Helldivers 2 has become ridiculously popular. Absurdly so. Yeah. And as with anything in the modern day world, whenever something becomes popular, people begin to flock to it in oh, they sure to do. try and subvert it to their own goals. Which is what we're seeing happening here. Helldivers alerts. You might at first at a glance be tempted mm -hmm. to think this is an official account saying, friendly reminder, don't be a fascist. Oh, really now? Oh, that's an interesting take, particularly from a game that so obviously satirizes it, but oh well. And you should not be genuinely reciprocating approval of conquest, genocide, and violence. Well, actually... Genuinely reciprocating approval of conquest. See, do you remember what I was talking about? How a lot of these people are looking to make fantasy media congruent with their real world views. And they have an inability to separate fantasy and fiction from reality. And they have to make sure that all fiction is congruent with their real world views. And the brain rot goes so deep that even whenever you are killing mindless bugs and literal terminators who are programmed to kill people. Yeah, but these, these bugs remind me of <laughs> this marginalized people I'm trying to help. Really? So, so these bugs remind you of the marginalized people. I see. And that makes everybody else a racist. I get it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course it does. What do you, like, what is the logic in this? Really? If you are in a war where all the sides are attempting to yeah. conquer and genocide one another with violence, then yes, responding with those exact same things is 1000% legit. To quote another handsome lad with a massive forehead in another very, very relevant movie, we are in it for the species, boys and girls. Oh boy. But of course, this is not an official account. No. This is the just... official account, Helldivers yeah. 2. It has the exact same logo, as you will see. It's got much the same name as well, only adding alert. And it doesn't do a whole lot to make it clear that it's a so-called fan account. Yeah, sure. Because this is, of course, about clout. As there is one position in particular that is so very interested with seeing fascists on every single street corner in every... Don't be a fascist. Man. You know, back in the day, we used to take people like this and we had like these rooms where like you would put them in a jacket. They'd be like this so they couldn't hurt themselves. And then they would, uh, they'd have like a, like a mattress on the wall so they couldn't, you know, like get themselves all fucked up. And so you just put them there and everything kind of work itself out, you know, maybe in time. <laughs> but, you know, now, now like we have mental asylums. But they're called social media. And this is the world that we live in right here. This is it. This is a person who's making a fake account pretending to be the uh, the, the developer, I guess, uh, talking about fascism, making multiple tweets about this. Like, do you really think people are being fascist and helldivers? Oh, my God. Single game, etc. The Antifa. Do you even know what a fascist, socialist, or communist are these days? Let me explain it. Fascists are right-wing people. Communists are left-wing people, and socialists are kind of left-wing people. That's just that's it, it's that simple. And if you kind of yeah, that's that's how it is. God, you're stupid. So I'm actually curious. So did do you think that I was talking about that? Honestly, did you really think that I meant that, or you you thought that I wasn't joking, didn't you? You might be, but 90% of Americans truly believe that. I'm sure glad you're part of that 10%. Oh man, we're lucky to have him here. Political crowd. Now, normally, you would think that the no politics in games approach would be the correct one. Yeah. However, this is where we get to the interesting part. I was banned from the Discord uh -huh. for what I'm about to say, but I do not think it is controversial. I would like this game to remain politically neutral. I was banned from a Discord, but it's not controversial what I said. No, I will not say what I said. No, 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 nobody, nobody sees what I said, no. But it was, I didn't say anything wrong. Someone in Discord suggested LGBTQ skins, and my response was to keep homosexual politics out of the game. Alright, fair enough. In fact, 
this seems like an actual legit problem because mm -hmm. there have been plenty of demands on the Steam forums of just this. I have found dozens of threads like this, but this is this is where it gets really funny. You may know. So every single person that tells me that they get banned for no reason on my uh, on my stream, they submit their ban appeal and they're like, I can't believe this would happen. I can't believe this would happen to me. And then I read their logs, and you know what their logs are? I got banned for no reason. Bro, I got banned for nothing. I was just stating what my opinion was. Uh-huh. For sure. The strange stripes in the background indicating that all of these have been locked. Well, there Friend was another banned. post like this. Friend got banned for asking to add one LGBTQ cape. Mm -hmm. They seem to legitimately be banning both sides of this political discourse. In other words, they are actually saying no politics in this game. They are actually keeping the politics out of the video game, regardless of the political position. Thank God. Please remove these. I don't even... What even are they? Like, what are these people? Where are... Like... It, it's just like these people want to take over media and make the media agree with them. Now, of course, being on the more central right wing side of things, I do believe that this is something that needs to be said. Mm -hmm. I do believe that most companies require this call out for them to even begin to think about the fact that the doctrinal philosophy that they've been infiltrated with is going to damage their product. But it seems as if the developers of Helldivers have actually realized that no, we can't have the political discussion. We are not a forum for the political discussion. We are a fucking video game about killing robots and bugs. We yeah. don't need this here. We are not the correct avenue or the venue. Stop, both of you. And I am 1000% in favor of this. Yeah, I generally am. I mean, like, I'm also completely in favor of doing it, but I'm completely in favor of primarily the developer being the one that chooses and not a group of people who think that they have a moral mandate to bully the developer into making that choice. I think that if a developer wants to have a rainbow cape and have a pride event, great, that's their right to do that. And as customers, you can either, if you don't like it, you can quit playing the game. Now, what we used to do back in like, and I don't know if they can do this because it's like, I was thinking like, can you just like make, give people like an emblem where they can put like different colors in their emblem. And then I was like, hmm, well, if somebody can make a flag like that, I bet they could probably make a swastika too. So it probably, probably isn't a good idea to do that. But, um, I, you know, if you, if you gave people the ability to do that, yeah, because I'm like, cause you know, it's like, I... I do remember, yeah, or a dick, right? I, I'm, I'm not 14 anymore, but I do remember whenever I was 14, and I would have 100% made something stupid or super offensive, right? And so, yeah, anything that can be used that way will be abused. Obviously, the retarded counter-argument mm -hmm. of the leftist is, don't you realize the game is political? <laughs> you make political jokes in the game, you must- Yeah, this is, uh, this is what a lot of these people do, is they try to say that every single thing is political in order to normalize pushing their political ideology into the game. Uh, it's very common. Oh, everything's political. Well, it's, that's why it's okay to, to be, for, for it to have my politics. Be open to be a political- There's clearly a spectrum. No, no, not at all. You can have a game that has political themes. You can even yeah. have a game that has overt in-universe politics, is it? You can even have a game that makes overt political declarations in it as well, as the game definitely does make fun yeah. of quite a few authoritarian philosophies. I think the problem is whenever the video game is a bad metaphor for real life, I think that going and like, for example, um, you look at Final Fantasy XVI, a lot of that story is about slavery. It really actually is. Fucking slaves. Like it and, and it's it's bad. And like they talk about it, and it's not like it's ever viewed as a good thing. There's like not really a lot of nuance. It's a great story. It's a good story, right? And you have Metal Gear Solid. But like the problem that people have is whenever they want to make the politics like their idea of politics is representing a political event. Whereas the good politics and stories are representing a political ideal. 
I think that's a good way to say it. I'm not sure if it is, but I think that's the difference. And still not make it a correct area for political discourse. Political reality, which yeah. Which is exactly what they are currently trying to do. Will there be transplant capes? Locked thread. Mm -hmm. Trans LGBTQIA plus representation in game? Locked thread. No LGBTQ yep. plus representation in game? Seriously? Locked thread. Yep. This is the correct way of dealing with this. You yeah, do you don't need to have representation in a video game. Like, for example, in Last Epoch, I played as a black guy because the Void Knight, uh, the base character, is a black guy. Now, ideally, I generally play as a white guy that looks kind of like I do, right, to an extent. But <laughs> am I going to be belly aching over the fact that, oh, my God, the character I have is black? Like, I don't need to be completely, perfectly represented in every single game. It's really not a big deal. Like, what is this? Not it's bow crazy. down to either side. You simply take a firm stance and say, no, not like, no I'm not. not here. This is a third-person shooter action video game. We are going to literally accept as broad a constituency as you want. Your trans yeah. want to play our game? Go on. Your right wing want to play our game? Go on. Conservative, left wing, and Tifa? We don't care. Just play the game. Because we are a video game. Well, and also, like, another factor of not caring is the idea, like, one of the really good, um... One of the really good messages of Helldivers 2, and it's like, it, it, it's overt, but I think that the, the meaning of it is more, uh, you know, it, it's not as overt, is that you're not fighting for Super America, you're not fighting for the UN, you're fighting for Super Earth. And so, like, the entire story, like, for example, like, it has, like, a multiracial family in, like, the first five minutes cinematic. So it's very clear that, like, the game is about you know, coming together for a certain specific cause. And the focus is not necessarily about a person's individuality. And I would argue that, in fact, the foundation of the game is against that individuality with that shared goal. And I think that that's probably another reason why they're trying to avoid trying to create factions of people in the game and, like, appealing to people like that because it is kind of antithetical to what I think one of the really positive messages are in the game you know human supremacy yeah it's a genuinely laudable position now of course again i sympathize significantly more with this position than i do the other one because this is absolutely subversive i've talked about this in multiple cases. i don't have a problem as again i want to say it again like i think that the developer should do what they think that they should do they should do what they want to do artistically and the problem is whenever developers are not doing what they want to do, but they're doing what they have to do or what they feel like they have to do. That's the problem. Even if it's entirely possible, the guy in question here has, has no well, understanding of this. In yeah. fact, the majority of these people are probably, honestly, relatively well-intentioned. They're looking at the game and it's like, my friend got banned for asking for this? Isn't that a little bit extreme? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just one cape, right? Fair enough. And if it ever stopped at 1k, I wouldn't even have a problem with it either. But it never does. Because of this. This is why you cannot have 1k. Well, the if they have a rule against it, not, not, not having like real life politics in the game, then just don't have any of it. It's actually like super fucking simple, right? Like, because if you, if you add one thing, then other groups of people are going to want something else. And then it's like, okay, now it's like everybody's trying to fight for, like, getting represented in this way or having their agenda be in the game. It's, oh, bro, come on. Just play the game. The moment you do, people will see it as an affirmation of their political beliefs. The accounts yeah. are already there, chasing clout in the name of the game, attempting to push a political philosophy and opinion. That is what they're already mm -hmm. doing. Like this Helldivers alert, like, oh, I'm a super fan of this video game. I don't quite understand what it's satirizing or the humor in it, but I am totally a fan. <laughs> And maybe he is, maybe he's just a moron. It's entirely possible. Yeah, but like, if you want me to be honest, like, I always thought that, like, Starship Troopers and, uh, like, Helldivers 
is doing a very on the nose satirization of like American imperialism and like the military industrial complex. Like I, I, I feel like it's so obvious, right? Like <laughs> the people, but like the thing is that, and, and the reason why it's good is because it doesn't satirize those people as being universally bad but it just satirizes it as being misguided or kind of silly, which is what makes it good. It's good because it doesn't provide a one-dimensional viewpoint of people that are bad actors. And that's, I think, what makes good satire, like, good, is whenever you actually have a degree of, like, kind of realism to it. And usually most things in life are not black and white. The entire ideology is designed to be subverted. I've read enough of the original philosophers yeah. now to recognize that very fact. And so, yes, even giving them the pinky finger will only result in further demands. Of it course. is quite literally inevitable. Well, and then you're going to have other people demanding, like, different, like, country flags. Like, it's just, you remember, like, r slash place? I wish they would make a rule next year to not have any flags on that. Like, I, I hate, like, oh, my God. It's like, guys, does the turkey flag really have to be one-fourth of the whole thing? Do we really need the France monument of the Eiffel Tower to be the entire, like, it's the entire left side? <laughs> Come on, guys! Jeez! But, at the same time, you are also going to need to deal with a rising counterbalance uh -huh. to this, which is going, which has realized yeah. what I just mentioned, that this is subversive and must be stopped at the beginning. And hey, this might even be an acceptable conversation in a, in a closed vacuum, right? Somebody mm -hmm. says, hey, can I have this? Somebody goes, no, I think that bringing the ideology, can we not? And uh -huh. I, again, sympathize primarily with this post because he has the best point. But if you are a third-party developer, the easiest and by far the most effective way to deal with this is to simply say, mm, no, <laughs> you, you don't get to talk about it. You don't get to discuss it. We are enforcing the 100% politic-free zone. Yeah. So, and as long as they keep to this, as long as they keep to keep... Dude, it my favorite part is like, I remember whenever, especially Helldivers, was, like, really, really, really popping off. People were bringing up, like, Israel and Palestine. And it's like, I'm thinking to myself... Wait, so are you saying that Palestinians are... Ooh. Ooh, what the fuck? Which, yeah, who's the bugs? Who is this? Oh my god. It's like, and that's what I was saying before about how these people that are on Twitter, they are the ones who are the most racist. Their game entirely neutral. It's on like a whole other right level. Wing symbols, no left wing symbols, nothing whatsoever. Yeah. I am completely satisfied mm -hmm. with this approach. In fact, I think it might be the ideal one. So, do let me know what you think down in the comment section below as well. Do you approve of this? Or do you suspect that there might be concessions made in the future? I, I, I am personally worried about that because this is probably eventually going to grow into a larger story. We'll wait and see. At the moment, I think Helldivers 2 has the sheer influential clout as the game of the moment to ride it out. I don't even think most of the gaming... Most um, people just want to play a video game, and, like, that's it. I don't think normal people really give a shit about this one way or another, and it's, like, two very vocal 5% of the gaming community that are trying to fight it out, like the two monkeys in the Simpson thing, where, like, they have knives, and everybody else is, like, instead of cheering for them, they're like, oh, fuck. Oh, they're gonna ruin another one. Oh, Here we go. Here we go. We're gonna have to deal with this shit again. 
note, let's move yeah. on to target it right now. Because if they alienate the Helldivers fans, which they are currently trying 1%. to for clicks yeah. as hard as they possibly can, then they will lose a great deal of revenue. And seeing <laughs> as the various gaming websites are currently crashing and burning at a frankly heartening speed... That might not be what they're searching for right now. In fact, yeah. I have been noticing an interesting trend that more and more of these sites have deviated away from politics themselves and simply producing the good old-fashioned clickbaity, guidey garbage that we all know gaming journalists exist to make. It might still be garbage, but at least it's non-offensive garbage. I though I actually think IGN's done a really good job with making good quality videos on their channel, uh, on YouTube at least. That's why I've watched a lot of them, and I think that they're a lot better. Um, obviously, like I think that written media right now for gaming is in a very very bad place, and I think that like woke politics stuff is like only probably ten percent of the reason for that. I actually think that like there's a number of other problems that like these uh, websites have that are like foundational. And quite approving. Resident Evil 5? Yeah, I disagreed with that one. But I would say, like, overall, time, right? Very much. Thank you all very much for watching. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Have mm -hmm. a good day. Yeah. And uh, IGN changed how they did videos in a positive way? Yeah, for sure. I mean, like, I think that, like, again, having a no politics rule is probably a good idea. And not having people bring in real world agendas into a video game. Because I don't think it's really about politics. It's about real world issues because whenever you play a video game, there's like a degree of escapism in that game. And whenever you start seeing, uh, you know, connections to real life, like even something as simple as having TTV in your name, right? It's like TTV, like that's immersion breaking. It's like, oh, Twitch TV, right? I'm not in a video game anymore. And so I think having as few of that as possible is a uh, it's a very good thing. Did they block the comments uh, on the video? Oh, I don't know. I just, I watched it on their website. I'm not sure if they did that or not. Many people are turning politics into their personality. Yeah, some people are. Why isn't this video game addressing the real world issues I think about constantly? This needs to change. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is a pretty fair uh, fair take on the, on the topic. And I think that the idea of just banning, uh, I'll link you guys the video, give it a like if you liked it. And uh, first comment on the video. Um, are you a man or a woman? I'm a hell diver. What gender are you? Democracy. Yeah, but like, what's in your pants? Liberty. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, and, and I think that the, the silliness of that is what makes it very appealing. I mean, this is a pretty fair take on it. I, I definitely agree. Yeah, I think this guy brings up good, some good points. And I think that more games need to take the same policy of just simply not having any sort of connection to real world like current social issues or politics. I feel like every single time that a video game does that, it's always, there's like always a, like a, a bad component to it. There's always some version of it or some part of it that people get upset about and it just makes the game worse overall. I don't think also like, I, I also don't think that like having these things in video games helps at all. Because I'll tell you what's gonna happen. Like, uh, if you, if you give people the ability to have the rainbow cloaks, then people are going to kick those people out of the group, or uh, this is going to create toxicity in another way. It's, it's going to create more problems. And it's not like this is something that's a, uh, it's a good thing, it's a bad thing, but it will just create more dissonance. And then people want another flag, and then they'll want some other stuff, and then they'll want some other thing, and, you know, they'll want the company to make statements. So, yeah, you just never give these people an inch. Like, just keep the video game being a video game, right? Just let it be a fucking game. Helldivers 2 has ended racism. Oh, sure. Something unique and unprecedented is happening on the Helldivers 2 servers. I've played this game for three days now, and I've yet to hear a single racial slur. I've sunk 10 hours in this game. To play 10 hours of multiplayer and not hear a single racial slur is unprecedented in gaming. This just proves my theory that the best way to end human-on-human -human racism is start a conflict with an alien race. That's, what, That's what they should do. They should invent aliens, and that way people stop being racist. Or I'm going to say it again, mankind's not going to unite as one because we've grown spiritually and we've learned to love one another. The only way we're going to unite as one yeah. is if Good we point. gain a common non-human enemy. You yep. might call me crazy, but look at Helldivers 2, all right? They're fighting bugs, they're fighting robots, there's no racism, and it's, it's not even real fighting. It's fake computer fighting on the internet. People have got a small, tiny little simulated taste of mankind fighting aliens, and they've already stopped using the hard R. Only word being said with a hard R is automaton, and it's fine to say that. <laughs> 
because they're robots, they don't have feelings. You can be racist towards them. I'm not even a religious man, but every time I blast a Terminator in the face with a shotgun, I think to myself, now this is why God was made in man's image. True. I never been to church one day in my life. I don't even know where this is coming from. Man was made to fight amongst the stars. It's time we've set aside all these petty, stupid earth squabbles and begin intergalactic conflict. No more genocides. It's time for genocide. <laughs> Yeah, well, I think he's right. You know, it's like uh, people find a common enemy and then suddenly they figure out a way to get along. What a surprise. The government should do that.